Let's take a couple of minutes and we'll check out the dimmer and illumination functions on Pioneer's DEHX 2800 UI. So the easiest and quickest way to operate the dimmer or dim the brightness of the radio is to press and hold this back button for a couple of seconds and that'll switch the dimmer on. Here you can see the dimmer is switched on and the brightness of the radio has dropped down dramatically. In fact, maybe it's dropped down too low for me and that's dimmer than I want the radio to be. So let's make an adjustment to the brightness of that dimmer setting when it's turned on. I'm going to press in on the volume control and I'm going to roll along here until I find the illumination menu and press enter. Remember the dimmer is still on right now and I want to roll along until I find the brightness setting. So press in on the volume control to enter the brightness settings and right now we're at brightness number one. That's its lowest setting. We can go all the way up to ten. When I switch the dimmer on, I want it to be a little bit brighter than that. Maybe uh, brightness number 5 is pretty good for me. So I'm going to set that at brightness number 5. Now let's test it out and see if that's the way we want it to work. I'm going to press the iPod button to get out of that. And remember, my dimmer is still on. I'm going to press and hold the uh, dimmer button for a couple of seconds to switch it off. And the radio comes up to its full brightness. Press that dimmer button again for a moment. And the radio drops down to brightness number 5, which is how we set it up. Okay, now let's switch that dimmer off. We'll press and hold that uh, dimmer button for a couple of seconds to switch it off. We're back up to our full brightness. Let's check out the illumination settings now on the head unit. So let's press in on the volume control and we want to go to the illumination menu. Here's illumination. And we have a number of different things to, to choose from here. The first is the dimmer settings. And let's press in to enter the dimmer settings. Here's the manual setting, which is what we just did, pressing and holding this button to operate the dimmer manually. If you want to, you can do that. You can also roll over and set the dimmer on a timer or synchronized with the clock. Uh, that means I can have the, the dimmer automatically switch on in the evening when it gets to be dark and switch back off in the morning when it gets to be light. So I can press in on the volume control, and this says the dimmer starts at 6 p.m. If you want to adjust that a little bit, you can. Press in on the volume control and change the time, uh, maybe to uh, 7.30 p.m. So that's when the dimmer will turn on. We'll press in on the volume control again, and the dimmer stops or switches off at 6 a.m., but maybe that's a little too early, so we'll make that uh, 7, 7.20 there we go, 7.20 a.m. or so, the dimmer switches off. And so now that is synchronized with the clock or set on a timer and will automatically switch on and off for us. When you're done making those settings, you can go back and roll over to the next setting, which is back to our uh, dimmer manual setting. We'll go back out and go over to brightness. Now this is the overall brightness of the head unit that you see right now without the dimmer switched on. We can press in on the volume control and you can see we're at 10, if that's too bright. You can roll that back and choose a number that works a little better for you. We'll keep it at 10 for right now. When you're done making these adjustments to the dimmer and the illumination, you can just uh, press the iPod button to escape back out to your source.